they will have some joy. But for Kotoko, they're in a decent place now. Kotoko in a decent place, says Collins Amiel. He turns around, he finds Augustine Okra. Looking for space, lovely skill from Okra. He puts one, two for Christopher Nete. Nete wants to go for it, Obuka is tackling him. Ball goes outside, and Nete gets a corner kick. Yeah. The corner for Santi Kotoko, Augustin Oka. He provided the assist for that goal scored by Blay. He sends one in. That was tricky and teasing, but it couldn't cause any problems for the Phobians. And there you see Richard Arthur all over the place there. He didn't quite share the flight of the ball wall. In the end, the ball goes out for a goal kick. But for Kotoko, you know, they would like to count on the pace of Emmanuel James and Augustin Oka on the counter. Because they have hard to focus where they really want them to be. For hard to focus to chase them and for them to break on the counter. Because when you see the way they've lined up here in the second half, they are still somewhat deep in their own half. <laughs> Mohamed Al Hassan. This is uncharacteristic of Mohamed. I'm wondering what was going through his mind with this one. Pressure? Maybe pressure. Just maybe. He's regarded as one of the cultured. And refined center backs in Ghana, yeah. but for this clearance, it's unlike Mohammed. The ball is throwing, trapped down by Collins Amiel. Here is Emmanuel Jenkins cross, attack grabs for the Phobians. Tries to initiate an attack, but Wahab Adams defends for Kotoko with an acrobatic clearance from Christopher Nete, handling the Phobians and throwing. The Kotikochi hit him. I thought, I thought he pushed him because Kofikoji was trying to go for the ball and Nete was also trying to pick it up. There you see it again as Kofikoji was waiting to get a fast throw. No, but Nete there, so he just He'll be lucky him. not to get a cut. Yeah. This is, I mean, that's, just more. that's silly. Unpartable. That's silly. Lucky Kofikoji. Obuka's throwing inside, headed away by Wahab. There's a corner kick for Atsabo. Christopher Nete. Good save by Kwame Bar. Imano Nete, he can't go past James Fee and his guys. Cleverly, Nete wins a throw-in from the boot of Kofi Koji. He wins a goal kick, actually. So we spoke about Kofi Koji and where he loves to play. Does he love to be the centre man or play from the wide positions? I, I, I think I love to watch him when he's in wide position that is where he can show a lot of power and in the start of the second half we've seen him drift to the left hand side of the attack so let's look at the options for the phobians on the bench they have Bernard Arthur they have Nuruddin Abdul Aziz who is signed from Vision FC they have William Denchi and then Benjamin Ejari Odum could call any of them into the mix when you look at the quality he's got on the pitch now, you, you wonder who you want to take off. Absolutely. He's got about the, yeah, his best 11 on the pitch. No Maybe doubt about that. Maybe Manaf is on the bench. Yeah. Kwame Ba nearly fumbled, but Kotoko with the storm. Not out of total danger because the Phobians are possession again. Mohamed, Robert Abu, Obuka. Obuka's newfound form is impressive. Oh, lovely touch from a free year. I think there was some weight behind that one. Yeah, it was a touch heavy, but it was a lovely skill. Unfortunately, it was you know, too heavy for 
Kofi Kodi to run onto. But the idea was good. The intentions were clear, but the execution was lacking. Mohamed al -Hassan. Benjamin Afutu. Here is a free uh, good tackle from Wahab Adams. Kotoko gets the free kick. As, as James is brought down by Afutu. Yeah. Afutu's energy level is incredible, but he should be mindful he's already on a yellow card. Yeah, he has to be careful in the middle of the park because he's playing against a very, very strong Kotoko midfield that can easily invite you into a challenge. And one more bad challenge it could be sent in for an early shower but he's, he's brilliant he's an intelligent football i'm sure he will know what tackles to go into and what not but you can never trust footballers on that you cannot trust them absolutely Nete with a beautiful pass to a free that, that was awesome wahab adams that was a tackle the same as something that could blushes he would get a yellow card and has to could get a free kick and he says he went in for the ball. Yeah. But we'll, we'll, we'll have to take a look at it. But it looked like it was pity for Nete. Nete. What a ball that was from Nete. Played into a very, very good area. And then you see it. Again, that tackle. It got, difficult to see from here again. But we'll have a close look at it. Because Wahab Adams was beating for pace. And he had to make that challenge. Otherwise, was it, it a clever challenge? I think it was a clever one. He took that one for the team. He didn't take that one for the team. He clever sacrifices. One. There you see it again right there had nothing on the ball he was beaten he was beaten a free beat him to that and he got nothing on that ball absolutely nothing he got the man there right he had there intentions clear before coming in for that ball right there he took that one for the team so the phobians have a free kick and will have as a yellow card so there free has struggles to find his feet but what a ball that was from Nete. that a pass beautiful pass into that awesome. tunnel Free kick for Hatsabon. Koki Koji. Let's see what to score from here. Let's see what Koki comes up with. Is he going to deliver into the box? Or he's going to go for goal? Koki Koji against the wall. hold up the phobians have a man down and these kotoko fans will be hoping that the clock ticks so fast so they could end the game early enough absolutely because for them they're in a place where they want to have the team you know kumasi santi kotoko in accra and there they see themselves leading against accra had to folk obuka So Asante Kotoko lead by one goal to zero. We've done 55 minutes in Accra. Now it's Emmanuel Jemfi. He's got Fatal to confront. That poor cross from Jemfi nearly created problems for Atsabok. Surely Jemfi today, in the game they played against Dwarf Nana, 
He was missing out of the action, but today he's putting an incredible shift, dropping back to helping defending. We've not seen much of him in attack, but in the position where the team finds himself, he will be very grateful and happy about the way his team is playing today. He leads the team onto the pitch. Absolutely. Just Ado. Ovuka. And Sam wants to make inroads. Benjamin Afutu. Mohamed Al Hassan. Do they like the drive and the desire to go for it? Well, maybe they don't. Here they are. Hatsabo, Kofi Koji. He fouled his marker. Free kick for Kotoko. Yeah. Had to one to attack, but the way Kofi Koji have set up at the back and the numbers they've got in the, the block that they are setting up for them, it's difficult for them to find the spaces to create their chances. So we're going to give credit for the way Kofi Koji have stayed disciplined throughout this second half, making sure that Had to are not having any joy. Christopher Nete. Oh, good play from Nete. Here's a free kick. Kofi Koji. He knows he could have done better. Justice Blade. Patrick Yaboa, Habib Mohamed. It looks to me Kotoko central defenders have had little to do as far as the pressure from Koji and Esso is concerned. Absolutely, because like I said, they've lacked the services. We've not seen Ovuka, we've not seen Fatah Mohamed gallop down that byline to send it in crosses or great problems in and around the boxes uh, for or the box for Kotoko. So the defenders, the centre backs there. I'm having a, almost a holiday today, and that is where I'm sure Coach Odom is going to be disappointed. We've not seen so much in attacking sense from a pair of folk. <laughs> 13 fouls for Hatsabok, 11 for Asante Kotoko. Free kick for Asante Kotoko. Here is Joseph Esso. Was looking for a free year. There's a master class defending from Abid Mohamed. Yeah. But Colin Samuel gives it away and commits a foul in the process. So there you go, just step behind the back, no, so he went straight for Eto's yeah, leg, went Eto's straight leg. For and then it's a foul, and then again, how to forgive you, I'm in a very, very promising position, a good whipping. Patrick Yabua, that was awkward clearance, and he's giving the Phobians a corner. Hey, he had no choice than to go in that way because the ball took an awkward bounce. So, first is first. Like they used to say from primary school, you know, safety first. Yeah. <laughs> you don't take no chances. No chances. Corner taken. That was some effort from Joseph Esso. Efria is doing so well with a link up play. But it's Esso and Kofi Koji who remain the major threats for the Phobians. We've done 60 minutes in a car. It's at about zero as Antico Toko one. This is the experience of the Ghana Premier League on Adipat TV. Robert Soa under pressure goes to goalkeeper Atta. Poor touch from Nete. Ovuka. Headed by a big moment. Now Jenkins will sprint forward. 
Jerry's Gentry. He's got Fatal to confront. Slows down the pace and finds Collins Amiel. Amiel to Kwame Adum. Good play from Kotoko. Jerry's Collins Amiel. My, my goodness. How could he have done that for a cross into the box? Nectar with another pass. Kofi Koji. Kofi Koji. That is some good defending from Wahab Adams. What a magnificent defending by Wahab Adams. On recovery that was. Kofi Koji is so strong that he was holding him off all the way there. Beautiful ball to begin with. But Kofi Koji, beautiful first time as well to get a ball ahead of himself. Wahab Adams strong in there. And that's just throws himself to make sure he's getting something on that clearance. That was beautiful defending there. Great stuff. Really great. That is a trademark of a warrior. Kofi Koji, for once I thought he was let down by his pace. Yeah, you know, Kofi Koji is not the fastest you have on the pitch. Every year! Over the top. That was close. From Daniel Efrié. Daniel Efrié. That was a lovely first touch. The ball up and over Habib. Look at Efrié's run. Beautiful run. That was the ball up and over Habib. And Habib was beaten to it. Yeah. Got the first touch right to set himself. But just at the moment he was trying to connect to it, he leaned back a little bit. And that is why he's Kai in that one. Another chance gone for Hearts of Hope. That tackle again from Wahab Adams. That block again was sensational. He's done ball class. Two incredible ball class tackles yeah. in the space of two minutes. Yeah. Here is Obuka. Wants to search forward. Impeded by Okan. Christopher Neto loses possession. Here is Obuka. Can he send a cross in? Another stop by Wahab Adams. I thought, I thought Obuka took too many touches there. But Wahab Adams, what an incredible second 45 minutes is having. It's half a foot better as well. How about that? Yep. But deep into Katoko's territory. Just a The four players have been alive. Half the world have been alive. It's one more year at the Akraspa Stadium. Oh my word. Feel the stadium. Just feel the ambience. Just feel the fans. This is a great heart of hope. And it's not a winning goal. It is the level against Kumasi Asante Kotoko. But here, Kotoko are not ready for the corner kick. They are just not ready. Take a look at the defenders. As the ball comes in, there, nobody really dealing with it well. It takes a deflection. And it's, it's an awkward deflection. They headed on to the crossbar by Esso on the rebound. Headed it into an empty net in there. And the phobians are leveled in Accra. Through Joseph Esso. What an incredible atmosphere we have here in Anna. Never say die until the bones are rotting. The phobians have found their voices and there they go. Oh my word. This is where you should be if you love football. This is the game you should be watching if you love football. So it's Hatsabo 1, Kotoko 1. Here is the free. Brought down by Habib. Tricky for Hatsabo. What a game we have on our hands now. What a game we have on our hands now. The super class always delivers. But I can promise you that this is not the end of the twist in this game. And the fans, they've been part of this story from the minute we, we started the game and they found back their voices. You just have to, as soon as that ball went in from Esso Nana, 
the stadium was bouncing, really was bouncing. You, could, you, you know, our screen before us, our monitors were shaking because the fans were in ecstasy. And what a lovely moment there for all Hearts of Folk fans. But it's all got now to try and also get their groove back. Santikotoko would love to try something and guess what they want to do they want to bring in Matthew Aiden Kujo the whisket the 16 year old prodigy who changed the face of that game against Dwarves let's see how it goes right now is a free kick for Asante Kotoko free kick taking oh on the roof of the goalpost that was tricky and dicey from Augustine Oka yeah and Richard out of that wasn't was in trouble he was in trouble by okra what a lovely whip on the ball was aiming for the far corner there but goalkeeper was struggling to get back into position in there unfortunately for okra there the ball didn't dip quite in time for, to find the bottom of the net but I, i'm sure after they had it covered he had it covered robert ado Next is delivery dip inside, headed down by Yaboa. Here is Justice Blade, Emmanuel Jenfi, Patrick Yaboa, Kwame Adum. Now here is Okra, he wants to move through the center. Augustine Okra, lovely pass to Robbie Keita. The flag is up, yeah. Keita is offside. Yeah. And that was a brilliant way that the Hearts of fans held the line because. You can easily be dragged away by the attacker. But here's the moment. So there he comes. There he comes. Matthew Enim Kujo is coming in to replace Augustin Okra. I thought Okra was in the kick of events for Santico Toko. Yeah, but in that front area, they've got a navigator who is the only out and out striker they've got on the pitch. The experience of Emmanuel James is what keeps him on, I think. But again, and then Kujo love to play on the right hand side of yep. the attack. So Okra has to make way. But Okra has had a decent game today. He's like really putting a good shift. But now time for us to see the young one, the little boy, the young man on the biggest stage in Ghana football. The super clash. Absolutely. Here the Tobians come again. Losing out. Daniel Afriye. Legitimate call for foul. I thought he was he was looking for it. If he, he was always going down. So there you go. Kujo's first touch of the ball. And he wants to be in the action. He wins a free kick for Santi Kotoko. The Phobians must be very careful in how they handle him. Yeah. He's swift, he's quick, intelligent, and he can get caught a couple fouls. In very I'm not sure that was a foul areas. to begin with. I'm not sure that was a foul to begin with. But this young man here has got an incredible and delicate touch on the ball anytime he plays. And that is what he must be wary of. Good time from Keita. The final product was poor. Emmanuel Jensen. Daniel is free. Abib wins the ball legitimately. The three wanted a foul. And Atzabot will get a corner. I thought that was a brilliant tackle there by Habib. I mean, but Efri has got also an incredible first touch. As that long ball comes in, the first one was brilliant. But Habib recovered well to get it. So, mental, physical, and spiritual health. I know my history. So, these are books that this fan has brought to the stadium. For what purpose, I can't tell. Corner taken. Dealt it by Kotoko. But, there seemed to be a clash of hurts. Yeah. 
Joseph Esso, and then Kwame Adun Frimpong. They went in for the challenge, clash of heads. The love is back. The love is back. So this is a clash of heads. Esso and Adum can be a nasty one in the only both players had their eyes on the ball and in the end clash of heads. There you see it again. Esso climbing high to get to the ball and three point as well. It's, it's, it's a painful one. It's, it's a painful one. You know, but but what a, it's been a wonderful second half. And it's um there's a signal. Yeah. Adum is unable to continue for Kotoko. Wow. Beautiful scenes here at the Accra Sports Stadium. It's been a beautiful day, hasn't it? And here they go. They want to take up their shirts. Yeah. <laughs> and so now you see this. And so it's bleeding. Yeah. Oh, from that clash. Yeah. With Adum. Yeah. It's been a competitive game. Lots of challenge, lots of tackles. But that is what to expect when Hatterford plays Kotoko. There you see it. Some very, very hefty tackles coming through. But teams, everybody wants to get on the ball again. So it's been a very competitive football game that we've seen today. And that tackle from this is Wahab. a world class tackle yeah, from Wahab. He took it for the team. It, it could have it for been a second for the Phobians. Yeah. So Kwame Adum Trimpon is being sent to the clinic at the Accra Sports Stadium as Joseph Esso gets his head bandaged. For the game, he's going to continue with a bandage head. And yeah, that was a nasty clash of head there. Esso has been patched up to get back onto the game. I feel sorry for Frimpo and, of course, for Kotoko because this will be the second midfielder they would have to substitute because of injury. You know, re remember, they have just one. So 15 fouls for Hatsabo, 13 for Kotoko. It's been a real physical battle. It tells, it tells the story. It really does tell the story. But... Joseph Esso doesn't want to give up. He feels he has a part to play. He feels after getting them the equalizer, he can as well get them the match winner. But he has to sacrifice. Yeah, if, if, if you know, no matter when they are clash of heads, what, what the team medics or the physios are looking to see is if, I mean, there's no concussion, if he's steady to go and ready to go back. It looks like Esso is struggling. Looks like he's struggling. It doesn't look too comfortable for me. And Nabi Keita is equally gone down. So Kotoko will be forced to make a switch. Richard Atta will be coming in to replace Kwame Adum. And that's an attacking substitution there. For but a defensive midfielder. Yeah, that is an attacking, which means now that Justice Blay will be dropping deeper into that midfield role. And uh, I mean, our colleagues would have to now sit beside uh, Justice Blay in that midfield. <laughs> And Richard Arthur now will go to play alongside Nabi Keita. It's almost a 4 4 2 system now that they've got for the match of Santi Kotoko. And Joseph Esso, who's also signaled that he cannot continue with the play. Looks like Hatafuk will be ready another player to come in his place. Cherries Matthew and Imkujo. I oh, love this kick from an Imkujo. What a save from Atta. Good save from goalkeeper Richard Atta. That header from JP was sending straight to the goalpost. No, but that skill from Matthew Kujo was an incredible one to get past his man. Take a look at me, find space. And here you thought that he was going to, because he was going to separate him into the corner. But he beats him and picks out a delightful ball to JP, who heads it. Back across the face of goal, but Richard Arthur with an acrobatic save 
to keep the scoreline one all. But what about that for a skater? What about that for a header? And what about that for a save? Beautiful stuff here. Incredible. Good move. Good header. Stunning save from goalkeeper Richard Atta. This boy is magical. He is magical. And that is why the likes of Bayern Munich, the likes of Barcelona and all other teams are looking to bring him in for tryouts and keep him in the academy system because the talent this boy has got. Amazing. And as Samuel Jan will be very proud, he's at the stadium today. Yeah. Kujo was discovered from the Baby Jet and the 16th Championship. Yeah. And I'm sure the Black Stars legend will be excited to see that his tournament has produced such a magnificent talent. That is the idea. And I'm sure he's a proud man. And so Bernard Arthur comes in to replace Joseph Esso, former Liberty professional player. He scored last week against Liberty. Let's see what he comes and add on to Azabok's attack. It's not goals in his boots, doesn't he? I mean, but it's disappointing that Esso is off. You know, it's disappointing that it's off. But back to Kujo. You remember when the German Bundesliga had the football school in Ghana? Manfi Kujo was one of the talents that went through the drills and the, the practice with the German side. And when I had interactions with the coaches, they were massively impressed by the talent that this 16 year old boy had. And it's not shocking that he's playing on the bigger stage in the super class in the Cup of Jersey. And Richard Atta, right now, there's every reason to be convinced why he's Arsenal's number one after displacing goalkeeper Richmond Ai, who used to be the best for the Phobians until Atta's arrival. Seventy-seven minutes. It's one-one here at the Accra Sports Stadium. That's a foul by Nete. He has no business complaining. This is a foul, Nete. Whenever footballers will always complain, you know. But then you see, is that is that arm across the face? That is a the problem. There it is. Had he used his body, it was a different issue. But just swung that arm across the face of his opponent, and it's always going to be a foul. And now Kotoko have a in a very, very good position. 78 minutes. Maxwell Gildo has been tagged as a second half specialist. Let's see whether he's able to defy the odds and get a result here. But the Phobians, they will have their ideas. Patrick Yeboa lines up. Yeboa. Header by Richard Arthur goes outside. Goal kick for Hatsabok. Here is Matthew Enim Kujo. He loses out. Patrick Yeboa. Emmanuel Jemfi. Went to the last 11 minutes. Here is Jemfi. Wants to try from this distance. It won't trouble Atta. Well, it was a good drive, but of course, Atta was in a great position to gather that. Lovely skill from Matthew and Kujo. There he goes. The whisk kid. That was a poor pass. No, but I'm actually very disappointed there by the run there. Navigator. No, Navigator's run was positive. But I'm looking at the run of Richard. Richard, Richard Arthur. Arthur. Yes, in that position because I'm not sure why he dropped off. Because there was a channel, there was space for Richard Arthur to run into. into. Instead, he chose to drop off and... That was a, a huge mistake. Abdul Razak Nuruddin, Abdulaziz Nuruddin, who joined from Vision FC, comes saying for the Phobians. Here is Kofi Koji. Against Christopher Nete, throwing for Hatsabo. And Samboche, he's had a quiet afternoon, especially in the second half. Yeah, by his standards. 
I mean, it's, it's not even been impressive today. He's not been able to express himself today against the likes of Play and Frimpong. You know, and that has been it. Was the decision against Kofi Koji? Was he offside? Did it impede Nete? Not too sure the decision of referee Shen. You know, it could have been an offside. Because coming from the throw-in. However, I'm not sure how he's able to impede somebody who's standing behind him. Mohamed Al Hassan nearly gave that one away. Emmanuel Jaffe. That was cynical. He had already gotten the decision, but he just didn't want to take no chances. <laughs> so there you go. Emmanuel Jaffe is there, causing all sorts of problems for Fatal. That pushed him the back. And it came strongly by Moa Hassan, but the rest was already gone. So Kotoko will be mindful because Akira had to fuck last week against Liberty at the Karendov Park. They scored on the 86th and the 88th minute. Absolutely. He tells you that the never say die spirit still works. Matthew and Kujo. Kofi Koji, this is strength to advantage. Lovely turn, Justice Blair, Matthew Enim Kujo. He won't get the decision his way. So if, will it be a drop ball? Yeah, but it will be to the advantage of Atsabok. Absolutely. the instructions are for Radio Vulka and Fatal Muhammad. They always drop deep into their own half. Richard Atta, clever defending from Mohamed al Hassan, bad challenge from Collins Amino, free kick for Atsubo. This is the moment where you don't want to lose concentration. Yeah. You want to keep your focus, you want to keep your drive and your desire. And you can't afford to slip at this moment. Kofi Koji. Daniel Ifriye. A beautiful skill. Brought down by Christopher Nete. Free kick for Atsabo. Ifriye has, been an, has had an incredible afternoon all afternoon. He's been playing so well. He showed great skill. The fans from Kotoko are not happy. But take a look at the skill. Step over one. Beats his man. And he's been chopped off. He's got down quite clearly. Referee is right. Free kick in a very, very dangerous position now. With a few minutes to go. You have a feeling that the next goal is going to be the winner. That's a feeling that cannot be doubted. A goal here will end the story. I, I'm, I'm very mindful of that. So, Obuka, thinking about delivering, but allows Ima to take it. Nete to the near post. is dealt to it. Kujo Classic to no man's land. Richard Atta puts one two for Nabikata up against Mohamed Alassan. One v one. Nabikata was looking for Matthew and in Kujo with that two pass. Pushing against Navigator. Yeah. That's some experience played there by Moa Hassan. He knew, you know, he knew Navigator was coming in, in behind him. Jamfi, Arthur, that was Keita. He's having a real battle with Mohamed al Hassan down the Hatsabuk territory. And uh, I must say that Moa Hassan is having the better of him this afternoon. I'm going to handle him very well so far. 
but a second player just in that one moment he can I mean cause all sorts of problems so you cannot switch off when they are playing against navigator you can't switch off Bernard Atta up against Wahab Adams Bernard Atta sends the cross in Kwame Bar did he cross the line we better get a second look at this no I'm not sure it, it was I mean Kuto gets the free kick that is the cross coming in Kwame Bar was almost beaten on this line nope. but absolutely no way no nope. no way no nope. that is no goal that is absolutely no nowhere near for a goal. no no nowhere near the line you don't need a goal line technology for this very visible on the eye the house of a goal area is boiling Amaya's delivery, no problem. So goalkeeper Richard Atta. Looking for a free, but Wahab goes in and gets the ball. That's some confident defending from Abib. Calmly done. Imano Nete, Robert Addo. Good pass to Kofi Koji. It's Kofi against Wahab Adams. He had Imanon Nete. He had several options. But Kofi decided to go for power. And that was very disappointing from Kofi. As soon as he had the ball, he had only one thing on his mind. To check onto his right foot and unleash the strike. The ball never really settled for him. He still went ahead to shoot it. That is why it was so poor. But you have a feeling that if the game ends this way, then uh, the both managers so what set of teams will be happy with the way the game has gone because it's been a true reflection of what we've seen so far. But for Kotoko, I'm sure they'll be they'll be happier because they didn't come into this game with the best of form. For half the folk, they want the ascendancy and momentum. And for them to drop a point against Kotoko in the way they started. Here is Justice Blay. Surging forward with confidence. He slows down the pace. And Collins Ameyao can't pick it up. He finally gets to Nete. Nete to Richard Arthur. Sends a cross inside. Jemfi traps it back. Jemfi. Nabikata. My word. Lack concentration. I thought he took his eye off the boy a bit. But that was a chance. What a chance that was. But Jemfi, beautiful skill to get the ball down. And a sweet turn to manufacture the space in which to play the ball to. Navigator, but Navigator just couldn't get that one. There is Christopher Nete, 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 Nete. It's a penalty for Kotoko. It's a penalty for Kotoko. Was it a handball? It came off his hand. But if you want to tell if his hand was in the in the natural position or it made him any bigger, because it's important. Could he have done anything else in the way that his body was posted? Could he have done anything else with the way he came? I'll have a better view of it. Referee says so his goal. So Matthew Kujo Shaw comes in. And there you see Moa Hassan. His hand is outstretched from his body. But when the defender is blocking the ball, you're expecting him to actually have his hand at his back. But when you stretch your hand that way, it's actually puts in. You get to yourself, your hand, in a position where you could block the ball. So referee sees the ball coming in contact with his hand and causes for a penalty. Normally when defenders are going into side tackles, their hands are behind them. But then, Moa Hassan, it wasn't the case. Referee points to the spot in the dying embers of the game. What a chance now for Kotoko to win it. It's a penalty for Asante Kotoko. And then you see the referee explaining to Afutu. His hand was stretched. The arm was stretched. And that is the, that is the exact explanation is given to Afutu. That he's trying to sign and the reason why he's pointing to the spot. N 90 minutes up, we're doing four minutes of time at on. There you see it again, Nana. Yeah. So, Matthew Kujo, 
hits it. it was a simple shot though. That is a, it's a penalty. He gets the block. He gets in the block, but an outstretched arm makes contact with the ball. And referee, at that moment, can't point anywhere else than the spot. So I think the referee is spot on. I think the referee is spot on. It's a penalty. It is a penalty. The moment Nabi Keita steps up for Santi Kotoko's penalty. Nabi Keita against Richard Atta. An opportunity for Nabi Keita to make history. Referee whistles. Keita! It's a goal! Nabi Keita has put Kotoko back in the lead. And Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Their fans know it. That only a miracle will stop Kumasi Asante Kotoko from winning this game. As Nabi Keita confidently, confidently walked onto that ball. The run onto win was confident and it disputed beautifully. Goalkeeper Atta had absolutely no chance. And Kwame Pa is thanking his God. He's thanking his maker. Because they've come to Accra. They've seen the huge crowd. They've not crumbled. And they've conquered. Accra had to fall through and cut go. Max Wakinadu will be a relief man. Masterminding this famous victory here at the Accra Stadium. And we've done two minutes of the four minutes of additional time. And they've always said this game. Never mind what form it is. Can the Phobians get a late equalizer? Kofi Koji. Radio Obuka into the Kotoko box. Obuka sends a crossing. Was it a handball? Looks like he yeah, hit the arm of Wahab Adams. We have the benefit of seeing it again there. But again, it's Wahab Adams. We have the benefits there. But Wahab Adams, what a block is made again. What a block that is. This is it. Radio Fuka sending the ball to the bar line to make that cross. So it's Wahab Adams that is putting in the block. But how did he get that block in? It didn't come off his hand. Difficult to tell from that angle, but the referee was close to the action. Things that it didn't come off his hand. What is your judgment? Penalty? No penalty. No, no. no penalty. No penalty. No penalty. Good defending from Justice Blay. He's been a warrior today, Justice Blay. He's been everywhere for Kotoko. He's covered every grain of the grass on that pitch. A goal scorer, and he's defending his hat out here. Next is corner dip inside. Kwame Ba fails to make a first time save. Here is Fatao. He's blocked there by Collins Ameyao. Now here is Jenfi. Kotoko on the move. Jenfi, Jenfi. Here is Jenfi. He decides to slow down the pace. Gets to Patrick Yaboa. Yaboa. Oh, lovely play from Justice Blay. Kofi Koji tracks back. Patrick Yaboa. Ball cleared by Soa. Jeffy is enjoying himself. Yeah. Decided to indulge in the antics. Absolutely. I mean, keep the ball away from the possession of Hatsu Fuku. And you are a few seconds away from winning the game. So that's it. We will be coming to the end of the game pretty soon. Kotoko leaving nothing to chance. Nabi Keita, can he get to it? Referee has got whistle to his mouth. He takes it back. And the fans can't wait for the final whistle. That the final whistle go. It's over. Hats of one. Asante Kotoko 2. It's been an amazing afternoon.